I'm exhausted. So ends another working day for humans. Time to hit the hay. Time to eat the hay. I'm starving. Hey, donkey. I noticed you were carrying a couple of humans earlier back there. I bet they're all snuggled up in their hotel room by now. So what? It's just that they get all the comforts and we just live in barns like animals. We are animals? (coughs) Hey, shh. There's something in the manger. I'd like to see one of them in this barn on a cold night. Now you're talking. I carried the lady all the way from Nazareth to Bethlehem. And what have I got to show for it? Absolutely nothing. Will you two be quiet and listen to me? What? There's something in the manger. Quick, check the water trough. No, it's over here. Now I've seen everything. It's a baby? It's human? A baby? A baby? I'll tell you what this is. The humans are sending us a message. What message? That living in fancy houses isn't enough for them. Now they're moving into barns. I'm beginning to think there's something fishy going on. Guys, guys, don't you see what's happening here? What? Two strangers ride in from out of town, but have a guess what? There's no room in the inn. Next thing we discover is a baby lying in our manger. So you think someone is trying to set us up? You mean, frame us? That's exactly what I mean. But why would anybody want to do that? Could be somebody wants this kid out of the way. Could be this baby is very, very special and important. You mean like a a king or something? Exactly. I remember now... I heard the shepherds talking about an angel they'd seen, and the angel told them a saviour had been born. He is Christ the Lord. This must be him. So, he's the king of kings, come to save the world. Wow, now we're famous. He's been born in our barn. To think I carried his mother all the way from Nazareth. I can't believe he was born born here. You better believe it. Anyway, time for our hay. Watch out, his mum and dad are coming. Come on then, let's have something to eat. No 